guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of What's For Dinner. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I do these What's For Dinner videos every week to give you guys some dinner inspiration. Tonight is Friday and we are having lasagna. So for this lasagna, you're going to need two pounds of meat. I'm doing a pound of ground pork and then I'm going to use a pound of this beef and then I'm going to divide the rest up and freeze it. This is just what I got at Sam's Club yesterday. Then we've got some garlic, some oregano, basil, tomato paste, tomato sauce, and then we'll use half a big can of water, some cottage cheese, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese. And then back here I have some onion diced up and one red pepper, just kind of winging it, never done the red pepper in there. But I diced it up pretty small with this new chopper thing that I got. I think this is the one that Mandy from Mandy in the Making recommended. And I had it on my Amazon wish list, and it went on sale the other week, and I bought it. Usually it's like 25 and I got it for 15 and it comes with two different things. This is the smaller one, so you can see I got those pretty small. So I'm going to go ahead and put some olive oil in this pan and saute those for a little bit, and then add all my meat to the pan and get that browned up. Okay, my meat is all browned up, so now I'm going to add in the tomato sauce, some water, tomato paste, oregano, basil, salt, pepper, and probably a little bit more garlic powder because we really, really like garlic. Okay, now it is time to assemble our lasagna. I've got my cottage cheese, some Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, and my sauce, my noodles. I do use oven-ready noodles. Some people hate them. I've never had a problem with them. As long as you have enough sauce covering your noodles, they cook fine for me. So I'm gonna get all this layered up in the pan, and then I'm gonna cover it with foil and bake it for about an hour at 350 degrees. Here is the finished lasagna. Here are our plates. Elijah has garlic bread and a salad and cucumbers. And here's mine with a salad with tomato and cucumbers and garlic bread. And here is mine here is with Lily's. garlic bread, tomato, cucumber, and lasagna. Yep. And that is what's for dinner for Friday. Hey guys, it is Saturday and tonight for dinner I tried a new recipe. This was one of the recipes that was included in the chicken collab. This one was from Tamara over at Southern Wife Everyday Life. And it is bacon wrapped brown sugar chili chicken. I think that's what it's called. 
And guys, I already tasted a piece and it is delicious. I would highly recommend this, so good. And it was only chicken, bacon, brown sugar, and chili powder. So four ingredients, super quick to make. And instead of using tenderloins like she said or the recipe said, I just used regular chicken breast because it's what I had and cut it into like little tender shapes. And then we've got some green beans and some box macaroni and cheese for dinner. And I will make sure I leave Tamara's video down below so you guys can check out how to make this. And that's what's for dinner for Saturday. It is Sunday and tonight for dinner we are going to be having a crock pot carne guisada, also known as a Mexican beef stew. It's going to be really easy to put together. My kids are playing a board game in the back. I'm putting this together early today. My meat is still a little bit frozen, so I'm going to cook it on high. I have just over two pounds, 2.2 pounds of beef stew meat. Just gonna put that in there. And then you only need a couple more ingredients. I've got some petite diced tomatoes, one can. Got some carne guisada seasoning. I got this at Walmart and we're gonna use five tablespoons of it. And then I've got one green bell pepper and one white onion diced up. Guys, I know I already talked about this onion chopper earlier in this What's Your Dinner video, but this thing is seriously game changing. This, the little pieces of, it dices it so small and I love it because I cannot dice things this small like by hand. So I really, really like this and I just did the green pepper and one whole white small onion and so that's gonna go in there and then just some salt and pepper and as I said I'm gonna put this on high and cook it probably for about six hours six to eight hours because it is partially frozen Okay, so here is how that turned out. It doesn't look very appetizing in the crock pot. But let me show you my plate. I made some refried beans and some white rice and I put some chicken broth in the white rice. The kids are having their meat as a taco, so there's just cheese in there and then some of the meat. Here's my plate. Much more appetizing on top of rice. And I tasted it and it's pretty good. Pretty much just tastes like a beef stew. Maybe a little bit of like a uh, Mexican vibe. I might top it with some cheese. I don't know yet, but we also have some refried beans on the side and that is dinner for Sunday. It is Monday and tonight for dinner we are trying this new recipe. It's called cheesy skillet shrimp and tortellini. Um, I am leaving out one ingredient which is horseradish because I didn't have it and I was like I don't think we're gonna care whether it's there or not. It'll have enough flavor from other things. It's quick because it's shrimp and frozen tortellini, so it says it should take like 20 minutes to cook. So over here, I've got some water coming to a boil, and then I'm going to cook these until they're done, and then we're gonna set them to the side. And in this one, we're going to cook our shrimp and a little bit of butter, and then we're gonna make a sauce with some Parmesan cheese. Oh, it did say heavy cream, but I'm going to use half and half, because it said you could use skim milk, half and half, or reduced fat milk. I'm just gonna use half and half because I already had it and I kind of need to use this. And then we've got some garlic as well, some basil and some salt and pepper, and one aroma tomato.
Okay, here is how the cheesy skillet shrimp and tortellini turned out. We will let you guys know how we like it, and we're just having it with some steamed broccoli on the side that we put some butter and some salt and garlic powder on. So that is dinner for Monday. Bye. Bye. It's Wednesday, and tonight for dinner we're going to be making Cajun chicken sandwiches. I got this recipe from Amanda over at Hot Mess Mom. I will leave the link down below to where she made hers. It was like last week or the week before. But to go with it tonight, I am making some of those Lipton onion soup mix potatoes. So I have about two pounds of yellow or gold potatoes in here that I cut up. And then I'm going to add this little soup packet and some olive oil. And then I'm going to bake that on 425 for about 35 minutes. Okay, so for the chicken, I just have two breasts that I cut in half so that they're thinly sliced. And I'm just going to cook them in a pan over there. I've got some oil heating up. And the kids are not going to like the Cajun seasoning, obviously, because that's pretty spicy. So for me and Andy, I'm going to put this Creole seasoning on there. That's what Amanda used. And some Cajun seasoning. And she also used black pepper, but I'm not going to use black pepper. And then for the kids, I'm just going to put some Badia complete on one of these chicken breasts and that's gonna be it please get the pointer away from the raw chicken okay I already tasted the chicken it tastes really good both the kids with just the body and mine with the Cajun and here's my sandwich I put it together the same way Amanda did so make sure you check the link down below so you guys can see her video it's just got mayonnaise tomato some salt and pepper lettuce cheese and the chicken and that is it and then um, I've got some potatoes and some ketchup and the kids are not having sandwiches they're just having the chicken and the potatoes and ketchup and that is what's for dinner for wednesday it is thursday and tonight for dinner we are having this crock pot cube steak i was actually reminded of this by missy over at the welder's wife i think the recipe that she used is almost the exact same as the one that i used so here it is in the crock pot um there's a couple more pieces in there and then the gravy and it's just a can of French onion soup, a packet of au jus gravy, and then I do a can of cream of chicken. I think Missy did a can of cream of mushroom because she doesn't like cream of chicken. But I found this recipe on Pinterest like years ago and when she shared hers I was like oh yeah I think I had pinned something like that before. And we've had it in the past and we love it. It's really good. It makes the cube steak super tender. And I threw this in the crock pot this morning before we were heading out the door to story time and it was frozen and I just put it on low and it has cooked for right at eight hours and it is done and perfect. And then I just sauteed up some zucchini with the Badia Complete seasoning and then we just made some mashed potatoes with the rest of the bag of mashed potatoes I mean with the rest of the bag of potatoes and then I've got the gravy on top. And that is going to be it for Thursday. It's just me and Lily tonight. And there's yeah. food for Andy, but Elijah went to dinner with his grandpa. So, yeah, just me and Lily tonight. Yep. Yep. But that is going to be it for dinner. And that is going to be it for this week's What's for Dinner. If you like my What's for Dinners, please make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.